everybody. Welcome to Catholic Home Life. Today I wanted to share with you about our family's pet chicken. And she used to be my pet chicken, but she currently lives with my parents. And I mentioned her and showed her off in my What's Up Christian video that I posted a few weeks ago. I wanted to do a fun, in-depth video about her just for fun, really. And if you're interested, if you're crazy like me and you're interested in having a pet chicken, then this video will tell you a little bit about the logistics of having a pet chicken and it will give you some information so you know ahead of time what you're getting yourself into. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned and we will show you all about our pet chicken. <laughs> a documentary that my grandpa showed me and it was called the natural history of a chicken and in it it featured a older woman who had a pet chicken as an indoor pet and I had never heard of that before and she had this chicken and it wore a diaper I think the diaper was made of silk and she said that the chicken's favorite music was opera and it was just really funny and eccentric but that planted the seed for me the thought in my head that oh that'd be fun to have a chicken just because it's weird and funny and random and sometimes i like to be that way so especially when i was in my younger years as a teenager so when my husband and i were dating before we were married we were dating for about a year and then I had this crazy idea of like, I want a chicken. And my husband, Andrew, my boyfriend at the time, he thought I was crazy. He was like, you want a chicken? He thought I meant to have a chicken in the yard, like normal people. But I said, no, I could have the chicken wear a diaper. And he thought I was crazy, but then when our first anniversary came around i was surprised by these two little chicks he got me two chicks and that was one of the reasons that i knew he was a keeper because even though he thought i was crazy he went with my craziness and he got me these chickens little did we know 12 years later one of these chickens would still be alive it's just really funny to think back on how I wanted these chickens and I got these chicks and now we still have one. I will have a slideshow at the end of this video of pictures of when they were little and when we first got them and how I set up kind of an indoor coop in my bedroom. So I'll show you pictures of that at the end. So stay tuned. One day I let the two chicks, they were, I don't know, they were a couple months old at this time. I let them out in the yard to play and I went inside and I just assumed that they were safe but when I came back outside to get them Dimphna which is the name of the one that's still alive Dimphna was alone and there were feathers everywhere and in the 
just mess of feathers. I found a hawk feather too. So I was devastated that a hawk got our other chicken. Her name was Agatha. I named Agatha and my husband named Dimphna. And um, anyway, a hawk got her and I was so sad that um, that I let that happen under my watch. I just wasn't thinking about hawks getting the chickens, but it happens. It's it's natural, it's the circle of life, but it was still sad because they were my pets. Now, after this sad event, I was down to this one chicken and I promised her I would take care of her, I would do a better job, I wouldn't leave her unattended outside, and she is still with us today. It's kind of a, a complicated story of where she's lived, but she lived with me for a while and then my conscience was getting to me because I was in a house where you weren't supposed to have pets, I was renting. So eventually I just couldn't handle it anymore and I was feeling guilty. So my future in-laws agreed to take her in and so they had her um, as a pet for a while. I don't remember how long, but they had her as a pet and they really loved her. And then when I moved to a different place, I was able to have her back. So I had her for a couple years and I had her after we were married. We had her for that first year of our marriage, but I got pregnant and I didn't know how a chicken and a baby would go together. I was really worried that she would peck the baby, our son, when he was having tummy time and all that stuff. So I didn't think that a chicken would be a good pet for children inside, an, in, an indoor chicken. Then I didn't know what to do and I asked my parents if they would take her in and they agreed to take her in and they've had her ever since. So they've had her for almost nine years. They've been her owners and they love her and she loves them and they've got a routine together and um, just a rhythm to their day. And she has a special spot on their couch where she goes to roost in the evening. She'll go up there and it's really sweet. She's got a blanket there and when she gets tired she I think at this point they take her up and she has a place in their room where she sleeps so so that is kind of the story of the chicken and how I got her and where she lives and now I wanted to show you how to, how I change her diaper and all about her diaper so this is a chicken diaper this is what it looks like and I found um, her first chicken diaper at a website called chickendiapers.com and I looked into it and it doesn't look like it's functioning I'm not sure everything's still up but it had a message saying that they the site was down or they wouldn't take weren't taking orders so I don't really know if you're interested you could reach out to them and see if she's still making diapers but I got two diapers from that website and then after that, I have a little experience sewing from when I was a child. So I kind of figured out how to make the diapers. Um, and so I've been making her diapers for years now. And they are reusable and you wash them in your washing machine. So I just make them whenever they get dingy looking, I make a new batch of diapers for her. So this is her zebra print diaper. And I will show you how to change the diaper in a minute, but basically what you do is you use a sandwich bag that has the flap that you fold the sandwich bag down. One that has a Ziploc won't work. You have to use one of these um, folding sandwich bags. And what you do is you take your scissors and you just cut a little slit in the bag. And then I stick my hand in the bag and I tuck the bag inside the diaper. And where I made that slit, I pin it with safety pins. I pin one side of the slit to that edge and one side or not the slit, one side of the bag to this side and one side to the other side. 
And then I also pin it on the bottom. I'll show you more up close in a minute. I safety pin it all and I get it ready and then I change her diaper, which I will show you right now. Okay, so I went ahead and did all the pinning and I just wanted to show you. Um, this is what it looks like after you pin it. That You put a pin between the elastic here and then I've learned over the years to put a pin on each side to keep the bag open and then a pin on each of these things. So when you put it on the chicken, this, the elastic is going to be on their belly and then this part is going to be on their back and it all pins together like this. It's kind of like a harness and their heads coming out here and this part's down there so that's what it looks like it's hard to tell when it's actually on her but that's basically what it looks like change the diaper you want to make sure that you untuck their wings from the back part and you'll see here I put it over her head and then I clipped um, and then I safety pinned those two um, pieces that came out to the back part so it's all safety pinned together with one pin right there and that holds it all on. You want to make sure that the elastic is like going over the edge of their wing and um, so right here and then you also want to make sure that their gullet in the front that you're not crossing the elastic over the gullet. Um, just make sure everything's straight because they will walk in a circle um that's at least that's what she does if if something's off it's if something's crooked she will walk in a circle so then i know something's up and then i just check and make sure that everything is straight so now that her diaper is on her new diaper it's fresh and clean and she smells way better because trust me it's really awful it reeks so much um but now comes the really gross part and i'm not going to show you because it's so gross but this is the old diaper i won't show you like the inside um but basically i put my hand inside another bag and i use that so that i don't have to touch anything because it's so gross and i hold my breath while i do it because it's disgusting and i take off each pin and then i take the other bag out that has the contents in it. And my mom does not like doing it. Uh, yeah, I don't like doing it, but it's part of having a pet chicken inside the house. You just have to deal with it. So I, um, I use this bag kind of as a glove so I don't have to touch anything. And then I pull the inside bag out and I like take it off my hand like this and tie it in a knot. You could also, if you're really into it, you could save the inside and use it as compost or like um, manure for your garden. I know my mom did that for a while. So if you're resourceful like that and you're interested in having compost and manure for your garden, that's something you could do. Um, so anyway, I am going to go do that because this really stinks. 
I also wanted to tell you a little bit about her diet and what we feed her. So this is just a regular chicken feeder that my parents got at a farm store and it has pellets inside. It's just chicken food. So we give her chicken food, but we also she give her corn. She really likes eating corn. So I buy bags of corn and well, my mom buys bags of corn. I do right now because we're chicken sitting. She really loves corn and um, but she also eats chicken food. And then we've got this water jug here. Again, it's just a regular chicken's water jug. So that's how she gets her food. My parents just have these two containers on a towel in their kitchen and that's where she goes to get her food. I think my mom feeds her corn once a day. So years and years ago, I found this bag at a thrift store and it has chickens on it. So I thought it was perfect for a chicken diaper bag. So we keep all of the things we need for her diapers in here, like the sandwich bags, the cloth diapers, the pins. We keep them in a little Tupperware and scissors for cutting the bags. So we keep it in this handy dandy chicken diaper bag. Oh, I wanted to say too that her diaper, you could change it as often as you want. The way it's designed, the contents are away from her body, so it's down in the bag. So it's not up against her skin. And for us, what what I do when we're chicken sitting her is I change it once a day. So that's all. I just change it once a day and that is enough for me by the end of the day she's pretty stinky and but it's nighttime and she goes in her little kennel like i told you she lives with my parents and currently my parents are on a vacation so we are chicken sitting and she has this travel carrier that she likes to be in and when she's at my parents house she actually sleeps in a spot in their room um, on this purple blanket, but when she's at our house, she sleeps in this kennel and she likes to be there. She, as she's getting older, she takes a lot of naps and she likes to just roost basically. So she is in here, but then when we are eating a meal, she'll come out and walk around the table and she knows to stand right by my one-year-old because he likes to throw food on the floor. So she knows who will give her the handouts. But anyway, that is her kennel and where she sleeps. And she's had this purple fuzzy blanket ever since she was a little chick. So that's her blanket. <laughs> so that is all about my pet chicken. I hope you don't think I'm too weird. Hopefully you'll still stick around for my other videos. Like I told you earlier, after this, I'll have a little slideshow showing some pictures of her when she was a little chick. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about having an indoor diapered pet chicken, let me know. I'm your girl, I could answer your questions. So leave them down in the comments below and I will be down there chatting with you. So I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you, bye.